Recently, art students at LCI put examples of their work on display at a school exhibition they called Manipulatosis. We talked with all of our students. We tried to figure out what we should call this show about two years ago. And we were thinking, well, we're manipulating things, we're changing things, we want to look at one thing and make it something different. So we thought, well, manipulate. And then we decided to call it Tosis, to make it our own manipulated word. There's over 300 pieces of work here, and we have um, grades 9 through AP Art, which is an Art 30 or grade 12 student. Like, I'm really into vintage, basically, so the, I work with 50s to 60s mostly, but I'm interested in like the 20s to 70s. I get a lot of my ideas from vintage films and music that I listen to, and I'm really involved with vintage fashions and architecture with those aesthetics and design elements. Uh, my name is Isa, and I've always been a doodler. I've been exposed to art for my entire life against my will in my family <laughs> because almost everyone in my family has something to do with art, whether it's a career or a hobby. So. This stained glass sound catcher, so it's a different part of class, put them together. It's just, it's like an abstract shape. So it's not like inspired by anything, just figures put together into a square. Some of them, this is the first art course they've had since they were maybe in grade four, grade five. So they were just kind of beginning artists. And then others, they are the people that have a sketchbook underneath their arm at all times and they're drawing every day of their life. So this is my favorite piece right here. Uh, we call her the Green Lady or the Shrek Lady. Um, she actually came from a clipping from a Vogue magazine fashion ad and I changed the color scheme with her so her lips are now purple, her face is green. We used my favorite medium called an ink bath. This is when you drop inks into a large solution of water and then you dip the paper in it and that's how she happened. So she's kind of a happy mistake, but she's my favorite. <laughs> my baseball gloves. I just, I had a, my grandpa who, um, he's really into baseball, so I kind of did this in his kind of inspiration for him. So he's, he's taught me and so, yeah. <laughs> I work with teenagers all day long, so I know that sometimes in a teenager's life that there's uh, some turbulence that kind of happen, and if you can express yourself through art, you can figure out some of those things, you can problem solve, I think it'll carry you through your entire life trying to figure out some of those hard things that come along, and celebrating those really joyous things too.